I read an article last night about ranking the cities in the world based on some factors measuring health. But I did not know that actually Valencia is the healthiest city in the world. Designing healthy cities is increasingly more important. Breathe in, breathe out. Masked up, unfortunately. We've been with masks outside since the pandemic started. When you're at the park or if you're just in a less crowded place, you can take it off. But right now it became mandatory again. They're saying that they'll keep these restrictions until the end of January, but who knows? Uh, today we got the highest number of cases, which was 100,000 people for the day. And we're here, 14 degrees Celsius. So that's about what, 50 something, 60? An endless summer here in Valencia. It's a bit strange celebrating a semi-Christmas holiday in January in this perfect summer weather. I personally like it a lot. We walked into one Starbucks. I normally drink black coffee, no sugar, no milk, but around holidays I got the habit living in, in the States for so long to get into the Christmas spirit with some flavors at Starbucks like the uh, pumpkin spice latte, the mint latte, eggnog and all these flavors. And we walked into Starbucks and there were none. And I know they have them because before I, I had some from there, but the guy apologized. He said, it's a disaster. I'm so sorry. We don't have any of the Christmas flavors. So now I'm going to another Starbucks. Hopefully they have uh, something Christmassy so I can get a little bit of that feeling. So I'm going to go into, into Starbucks. Let's see what they have here. Two story Starbucks. Pumpkin spice latte? No, we don't have the pumpkin anymore, sorry. No, um, eggnog, eggnog, sorry? eggnog or mint. No Christmas, no? No. no we okay, don't. okay, gracias. Another bummer. I don't know, they probably, they probably run out of supplies for Christmas. I don't know what's going on. So that was another unsuccessful Christmas flavor Starbucks fail and we're walking into the center center of the city what is this so this is grasshopper this is a bug that we eat in Mexico and it's crunchy is it like almond so it's its own genre <laughs> I don't know yet maybe I don't know maybe I should be looking at them so closely okay only for my viewers that that's the only time I'll do it okay <laughs> That's not bad. I'm telling you. Can you believe we've been talking about this for the <laughs> whole <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. It's hey, like a... yeah, okay. salud. <laughs> all right, all right. Not, not bad. <laughs> I have my show in Musafa. So excited. <laughs> the opening night of my solo exhibition. I'm on my way. Um, we'll just arrive a little bit earlier and get into the atmosphere and just um, welcome all the guests there. This is also for me first time I'm walking into the space, into the exhibition, setting everything up and creating the atmosphere of what I envisioned for my exhibition. The stands look like broken pieces of ice together with my black Siberia and I think it's, I think it's amazing. pieces, the art, the food, and our relationships and hopefully to inspire something in every one of you. The 
local government has been quite stubborn. They're renewing their restrictions until February 28th. Everything was, with, you know, with the COVID passports, masks and all that was until January 31st and then they voted and now it's extended. Even though the cases are not, not so many, I don't know why. People are tired. People don't want to, they're just tired. We're all tired of this whole thing and mixed emotions. Being, you know, restricted, being scared of that and just not being able to move freely. It keeps damaging and paralyzing our minds and people travel less. They enjoy their lives less, and and I don't think that's a that's a good thing. We are, as you know, in the middle of fires. The biggest celebration here in Valencia. I just wanted to give you a short warning. If you're coming to Valencia, there are certain things you need to consider because the noise is extreme. Super, super loud pyro technicians bombing the whole center of the city. So this place is like Little America. I don't understand why nobody talks about this place. Everybody needs furniture. We're all moving from somewhere to somewhere else. I'm serious, this place, you need days to walk to every single store. I'm unhappy. I can't do it. It got from happy to unhappy pretty quickly. Yes! <laughs> My bunny has hurt. No taxi, no bus. Let's see if we can get a metro. If not, yeah. I can't believe we were actually able to get on the rooftop on a busy Sunday. These are probably the best views of Valencia. Look at this. You can see the fountain from up here. They have a fully stocked bar, anything you want. And it's so refreshing. It is about 23, 24 degrees here, so not too cold, not too warm. It's just the perfect Sunday to enjoy on the rooftop. You should know that in Spain, lunchtime and dinner time are at very specific hours. Usually lunch at one o'clock, 1.30 or two o'clock, not earlier than that. And dinner, dinner in Spain, it's usually very late. If you expect to have dinner at six o'clock, forget about it. Oh, I thought it's some, uh, I thought it's some tiny little bug. Whoa, yay. That's cool, a little, a little commotion here. Just ordering some food. <laughs> it's a pretty cool, authentic experience here with a lot of Czech, Slovak people. They make some traditional dishes and a lot of different beers. Most annoying thing, poop on the ground. Any plastic bag or? Oh no, I don't clean up after my dog. Dog poop is like a uh, compost. It's got a ton of nutrients that enrich the soil. And we're in pavement. God damn it! They don't collect the poop after their dogs. I find this super annoying. And Valencia being a city where you walk all the time, and there's such a beautiful architecture everywhere, so I'm constantly looking at something. I don't really look at my feet where I step. It's annoying. It's stinky, it's gross. Pick up after your dog. I don't get it. And just like that, We can turn them like this. Come closer. Not the 2021, 2022. 
Are we going to do wine after or no? Yeah. They're pairing. They, they're going to bring us whatever goes with. Well, we have. Then you have to make sure to get something that is going to go with wine, not to mess you up after. I am going to devour that. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. It's so good <laughs> that you get in tears. <laughs> and I want more. <laughs> and you get more addicted. tears. <laughs> and you get addicted. So I can cry every night. <laughs> Out of joy. Yes. <laughs> Garnacha Tintorera, really nice wine. <laughs> That's my pretend drone. My pretend drone footage. <laughs>